All right, so we're in Peppermint. We're gonna go ahead and restart it. Let's see, I need to get into the other drive, and um, so it should be delete. Try and get into my BIOS really quick. All right, let's get this boot. Okay, this is Debian. It shows up as Debian. All right. Well, that doesn't make sense. All right. Um, one of them should be Ubuntu, and it should be on this old drive. So let's see what it does. I wonder if this stupid thing wrote something to the other drive. I've seen it do that before when you had more than one drive. Yeah, it doesn't want to work now. Um, but this other drive should work. Reboot and select proper boot device or insert boot media. Alright, so this thing indeed appears to have rewrote the uh, boot. Okay, so if we go to boot menu, we put Debian at the top. This other thick boot drive. So, um, one thing I can think of is maybe if I unplug the other drive, it'll actually boot up. Um, or maybe I'm just absolutely mistaken. Um, why is it showing two drives, but I only have one drive plugged in? So this is getting confusing. So the other drive is over here, I believe, but it's not plugged in. Um, I removed it on purpose so that it wouldn't cause an issue. Um, let's see if we can pull up information on these drives. Um, advanced mode. Okay, so... Uh, let's see what we have here. Main. Let's see. Advanced. Um, okay, what? Boot options. So it's giving me two boot options, but... I'm not seeing where I can see which drives I have. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't know this crap. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna try to connect the other drive and just see what it does, but um, it's showing up as two drives basically, even though it's only one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get into the BIOS again. Yep, see now there's another drive in there. All right, cool. We end up with this extra drive here. What does it give it a name? That's a Bontu. And that's Debian. Alright, there's a boot menu. We want a Bontu. Damn it! I just <laughs> screwed up the game. <laughs> Alright.
is so touchy. If you, you when you get into that menu, if you click on it, it automatically just boots it. Okay. Okay. So I think that's the priority from left to right. Um, if we click on this, it will just boot into that. Okay, so, and also, there's Linux Mint on here, too. <laughs> so this one has two OS's. You got Mint and Ubuntu on the drive. Let's see how long it takes. This is a spinning drive, so it's not going to be fast. But I haven't booted it up with double the RAM yet, so I'm kind of curious to see how fast it goes. If it makes a big difference. It doesn't appear to be making any difference really at all. So the last time I used it, we had maybe not even 16. I think we had... Uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and then uh, went 16, and now 32. So it seems to boot about the same speed with either one. So the limiting factor here is not the RAM, it's the drive. So you can add all the RAM in the world, and it's still going to boot the same. So anyway, that's cool. So I'm going to move on with another distro. We'll try out another distro here in a little bit. We just wanted to test this. Uh, let's see here. Just check to make sure everything. 32. Yep. Okay. 